Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Let's get started, it's time for Hot Topics, come on. Uh, thank you, thank you. I don't know about you, but after the show today, for the rest of the, the, the day, I'm gonna be watching the Michael Cohen thing. Cause he gets, um, he, today is sentencing. It's a big deal. It's a huge deal. Are you gonna be watching? Yeah. Stay informed. Um, so after 11 years, Kathy Lee Gifford is now leaving the Today Show. Aww. That's the wine drinking show. She wants to focus on music and movies. Well, let me break this down to you. She uh, started out as a singer on cruise ships when she was young. And then she um, was the singer for Name That Tune, which is a show that many people remember. And she was the singer, so she can sing. Uh, and then regarding, um, uh, oh, by the way, she has eight albums out. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? Uh, she's very religious and the movies that she wants to produce are faith-based. Well, she's got plenty of money so even if nobody wants to produce them for her, even if she wants to produce her own movie first to prove that you know, it, like it can go on like the Hallmark Channel or something like that and show them that look, I'll produce, I'll pay for everything, but sign this because if, the, this, if this rates really well, then you're gonna produce a strip of movies for me. You know what I mean? It's nice when you have that kind of money, you can take uh, risks. So here's how she broke the news yesterday. Been here uh, almost 11 years. Thought I would stay one year. Mm -hmm. Something happened along the way, fell in love with a beautiful Egyptian goddess. And now when it's our 11th anniversary, I'm gonna be leaving the Today Show. Aww. Well, I, go ahead, a person clapped. <laughs> oh. No, you all don't have to clap, all right. Is she annoying to you? <laughs> Look, um, I thought Hoda would be the first one to leave, especially because she's got that $7.5 million contract with the news part of the Today Show. But what happened, and this, to me, I thought that she'd leave because, you know, pull away from the wine and get back to being a credible newswoman. Because <laughs> so far, people are falling for it in that news hour, but pull away slowly but surely and get back to hard news. Um, what do I think? I think that um, whoever they get, first of all, I'm sad to see Kathy Lee go. And I, do, I don't believe that she was fired. At first I was like, mm-hmm, fired. <laughs> but what happened was when the Matt Lauer scandal broke, she, she went to the execs and she said, you know, this is my last year. When my contract's up, I'm done. They were like, please don't do that. Please, we don't need any more, please, we don't need any more shakeups. Please, you and Hoda, we don't need any more shakeups. So even they want Hoda to be there. And by the way, the executives also say, Hoda's not going anywhere. She's gonna be doing the, the drunkard hour. <laughs> and and uh, hard news. How does she get away with that? <laughs> How does she get away with that? Anyway, um, insiders are saying, that one of the uh, top contenders for um, Kathy Lee's position is Jenna Bush Hager. You know, she's a Bush Bush in the Bush. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Uh, how do I feel? Uh, first of all, does she have a wine glass? Is my chair hiding it? No. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's way over there. Yeah. Um, even if she did, it's probably filled with apple juice or ginger ale or something. I, like, I, and she's not funny. She's a nice, she's a nice woman. She's a nice woman. She's um, smart, nice, but they need this hour to be fun, to break up that nine o'clock hour after the Megyn Kelly show, which is now being hosted by, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, but, but, they need that, but they need that hour after Megyn to like lighten up. And this is, it's a feel good show. It, it, it's a feel good show. You go there, you drink, they give drinks to their guests, they drink together, they talk about drinking, they talk about having fun. <laughs> They talk about sex. They talk about, you know, love, clothing, lipsticks, <laughs> what they ate last night. Um, I don't think she's the one, and I don't have a suggestion, but she's not fun. She's just a nice girl, and, and, and Hoda is hella funny. So Hoda. <laughs> Hoda's funny. Kathy Lee is funnier. So you need somebody funnier to bounce off of Hoda. <laughs> the neck don't lie. All I'm saying. <laughs> Kathy Lee is 65 and Hoda is, um, is 54. I thought Kathy Lee was older than 65. She's been around for so long, you know, 65. And Hoda is 54. Anyway, Kathy Lee's last day will be on April 7th. Aww. Don't go, don't go. Don't, just do it day by day. <laughs> like I'll come in this day, I won't come in that day, <laughs> or whatever. So Bristol Palin is um, being slammed, um, or she's slamming actually, her own TV show. Oh. Well, you know she's involved with Teen Moms, and this season she's furious at how she's being portrayed. Clap if you watch Teen Mom. <laughs> Feel you? Okay. Um, she's upset that the storyline that they, they're portraying for her only involves, uh, revolves around the breakup that she had with her ex, who she has two, two children by. She has three all together, but two by him. So she, after, after, the, after um, you know, Teen Mom, Mom, they filmed that day, she posted a long rant on her social media saying that MTV wants to show, uh, wants, uh, isn't, isn't for rebuilding lives of a single mom. They wanna show, you know, the mess. And, you know, like Farrah Abraham, she's not there anymore because Farrah Abraham forget, uh, refused to let go of uh, porn. <laughs> In her position, I don't blame her. <laughs> I, I mean, if, if you're Farrah, with, with no scruples. Because, because of she's, she makes a lot more money on porn than she does being on Teen Mom, you know? Does she have a point, this um, Bristol? I believe she does. Take a look at the clip and then we'll discuss. When you're sitting here, like, bashing the mother of your kids, that's harming your kids. Just like sitting here trying to bash him. So I'm nervous to reach out to him because I don't know what his response is gonna be, and I don't wanna ruffle feathers because I don't wanna fight with them. Bristol's like a kid. She's more worried about the court of public opinion than she is about getting in there and let's be parents to the kids. And that's what, that's what the show's done to her. I mean, that's what it's done. She's more focused on the show and her image than she is about what's best interest of the kids. And no, no. And he apologized afterwards, saying, you know, he apologized for what he said. I am team um, Bristol on this. I'll tell you why. Because in our morning meeting, one of my producers said, well, you know, if she wants to show that side of everything, then why doesn't she get her own show? You know, Bristol goes it alone and to, to talk about the trials and tribulations of being a, a teen mom. And now, you know, she's a grown woman, but you know what it was like. I said, cause no one will watch. <laughs> like the Palins just aren't that interesting. I, they're, she, I mean, they had the reality show um, years ago. I think it was two seasons. I watched, you didn't watch. That's why it was canceled. 
uh, no one wants to see uh, the mother. No one wants to see, yeah, her. No one wants to see the mother. No one wants to see any of the people. And by the way, as we speak, the son of um, Sarah. Sarah, he's in, he's right now in a halfway house Aww. for beating up his father. Aww. His name is Track. Aww. So, so far he has a nice track record. I feel like, you know, Sarah is where she's supposed to be because teen mom is a bigger deal than Sarah Brist oh, you know, Bristol Palin, you know? So she should stay on that show and continue to speak your mind. And if you don't wanna be on the show, and I know you need the money, <laughs> I know you need the money, and I know that you guys love fame and infamy. I, you guys love it, admit it. So why don't you go out on the speaking circuit and give a portion of what you make for your fee, because you'll get a fee for speaking, you don't speak for free. They fly you in, they put you up in a hotel. You get a fee for speaking, you give a, a portion of that to wherever you speak. For instance, if you're speaking to Planned Parenthood of Chicago, you give a portion of, to them. If you speak to you know, a halfway house where teen moms are about to get out and you know, then you give money to that. And that'll be a big deal. First of all, it'll be a great source of income. Second of all, you'll be doing good. And the media will show up and you will be, be photographed and perhaps interviewed. And that's what you like, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Teen Mom airs Monday nights only on MTV. <sighs> People are annoyed with Meghan Markle and I'm annoyed with people. <laughs> I'll tell you why. So she cradles her baby bump. Well, people are saying she does it too much. No, you, you say, ah, until I show you the receipts. She has her hands on her stomach all the time. Like, like this is the designer who made her a dress. She was there to uh, give the award to the designer. And when they took the picture together, she also cradled her baby bump. I find nothing wrong with that. Then, out and about town, even with Harry, she's cradling her baby bump. She's, she, she's, she's meeting, you know, a, a cradling, ordering a salad, cradling a baby bump. Cradle, cradle, cradle. Even with security over her shoulder and Harry. Cradle, cradle, cradle. Cradle, cradle, cradle. Well, I must tell you, I don't have a problem with this, I'll tell you why. First of all, clap if you think that's too much. Hmm, I don't, I'll tell you why. I think, first of all, it's the natural thing to do. Second of all, we forget that she's, you know, up there in her 30s, and we don't know that this will be their one child. It might be their one and done child, you know? Um, also, I mean, I cradled. First of all, you never know bad people out there. Everybody doesn't like you on that handshake line or at the salad bar. <laughs> Everyone doesn't like you, so it's a natural thing. You're like protecting, but also looking out for yourself, you know, right, left, right, left, like that. Um, and this is, uh, you know, the baby bump also is marking a very important time in history because every designer that she wears while she's pregnant and showing, they will have that cataloged. And it'll, it'll be, um, gee, I wonder how much it would go for if they would sell it at all. I wonder if Megan would just keep it. You know, keep all the dresses. I don't know. She's doing the spring though, I'm team Megan. Yeah. Sometimes it's difficult. Not sometimes. A lot of times it's difficult to do hot topics in the world, the way it's spinning now. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't say this and you can't say that. And if you, oh my gosh, you know, people are outside stabbing, shooting, houses are burning every single night. I don't know about where you live, but here, there's somebody burning. People are being thrown out of windows. People are being hit by cars and left for dead. The subways aren't working. I, I, <sighs> You know, Washington, Washington, Washington. 
so it's hard. You know I have a slick tongue. So I, I've, I've had to roughen it up just a bit, not, not to be so slick. It'll probably be this way for the next two years, you know? Cause I like being here. And, and, and I know, and I know one wrong slip and uh, I'd be out of here, you know? So pardon me for being very thoughtful as I speak to you and pardon me for being, um, well, not as loud with it as I was mm, a year ago. <laughs> that might've been two years ago. Anyway, so you know Sean Hayes, just Jack. <laughs> Will and Grace. Okay, so he threw Madonna under the bus <laughs> in a very good way. He was polite. See, he had to watch his tongue too. Can't say anything bad. All right. James Corden asked him about uh, her Will and Grace guest appearance and take a look at his response. What was it like when Madonna came on though? She was really interesting. <laughs> yeah. In what way? She was great. She was really great. <laughs> she was terrific. Period. Everybody's gotta watch what they say. Do you know what I mean? You know, and another time he would have gone off. Like she was this and she was that, and no, you can't say that. Even though right now Will and Grace is on fire, you know, with the reboot of the show, which I love. Um, Madonna reportedly shaded Sean back in 2003 when she was on. Um, she was a guest, she played Megan Mullally's um, uh, roommate. And at the table read, you know, that's where all the actors go over their lines with, a, with no makeup and all that. Um, usually, like in robes and whatnot. Anyway, at the table read, Sean told her she was funny. And Madonna said, thank you, I live for your approval. Oh. That's typical Madonna. Like, wh why would you think that she'd be anything less than Madonna? At least she's consistent with her behavior. <laughs> uh, but James asked, so I found his answer quite civilized and to the point. <laughs> um, so Kim Kardashian. <laughs> it's not really about her, it's about us. She revealed, cool. <laughs> Except her zipper's down. Just saying. Kim Kardashian revealed that she goes to bed wearing makeup if she doesn't have a glam squad coming the next day. Yeah, full makeup. Um, is this you? Clap if it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're, you're young, you can do that. How old are you? 28. 28. Well, listen. My thought about this is keeping your makeup on clogs your pores. It gives you rough skin and it's gonna catch up with you. It won't catch up with her because uh, she has makeup artists on call all the time. I, I don't believe that. She's probably trying to sell something in her line, you know, some permanent type of makeup and you guys will buy it. And she's, and she's, she's hypnotizing you right now by telling you this is what I do, you know. Um, listen. I wear a lot of makeup for TV. As soon as I get out of here, I take the makeup off. Immediately, off, 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 off. I have a procedure that I do until I see nothing, nothing. I always have my eyebrows on though, you know, cause, cause I get them, you know, bladed. I always have my eyebrows on and, which is wonderful. Um, and I always have black circles around my eyes. Like, like what I got going on here only because that's a delicate area. You'll find that, you know, when you get older, you girls who use waterproof mascara, that's a no-no. You gotta use regular mascara and just stop crying. <laughs> or, or, grab a, <laughs> or grab a toothpick or, or a Q-tip or something, you know?
you grab a Q-tip and you catch your tears like this, you know? But um, yeah, no, that, that's not good. It's gonna catch up with you. But you know what? We got more great show. <laughs> Nick Cannon is here. 